The crisis in Egypt is being felt in our own backyard. Good afternoon. I'm Kristen Mayorano. News Channel 18's Joe LePage has our top story. Joe. Kristen, by now you've no doubt seen or heard about the unrest in Egypt. A large contingency of people who call Egypt home are calling for the leader of the country, Hosni Mubarak, to step down. Well, Delphi couple Alan and Elaine McConnell returned back to the States just before the unrest started. The, the McConnell spent time in Egypt as part of a symposium called Wonders of the Ancient World. During their time in Cairo, the McConnell said they could feel a good majority of the, the country was unhappy and that a revolt was possible, but they were shocked at how quickly it happened. It happened so soon, that was the surprise part. Oh, that, yeah. That, oh, we were just there. We had no inclination that there was any kind of unrest going on while we were there. Mm -hmm. We left on Thursday night, and this all happened over the weekend. And on Monday, we were reading about it in the paper, seeing it on the news. I mean, that was a real surprise. Now, the McConnells say the most upsetting part was seeing video of the artifacts in the land they recently returned from being so mistreated. Now, right here at Purdue, students with ties to Egypt plan to rally later on today. One of the organizers says the event is needed to bring attention to the rights of people who are dying in Egypt. Purdue graduate student Ahmed Amin says people in the local community need to know the protesters are fighting for fair elections and freedom of speech. Amin says those are freedoms Americans can certainly identify with. The rally in West Lafayette is set for 3 o'clock this afternoon on the Purdue Memorial Mall. Amin says there will be a moment of silence for the lives already lost in Egypt. Joe LePage, News Channel 18.